You know, sometimes life can take its toll on us and we may have such high expectations for life and then we come to a place in our journey where we realise that the wanting things to be different than they are is what actually causes the pain and the suffering in the first place. Sometimes life gives us challenges, gives us relationship difficulties, gives us health issues, financial difficulties, simply so we have no other choice than to go within. If your life has been a feeling of lack for a long time, it is more than likely encouraging you to become still, become present, allow yourself to feel, feel your feelings, uh, all of those things that you may have distracted yourself against through being busy or eating too much or socializing and there comes a time where it's it doesn't work anymore and you have to start to live in this world not the future and not the past right now and I know it's cliched but eventually it's part of the spiritual journey we all must come back to because having castles in the sky and wishes and dreams they're all well and good but if we're attached to them and expect certain things to happen in a specific way we're going to be let down because life is natural, life is flowing like the tree drops its leaves in the autumn and the snow falls in the winter and the buds of flowers come up through the soil in the spring they all take place naturally there's not an expectancy by nature for this to take place it just happens there is a not even a deep trust because there is no separation in nature there is no sense of separation like there can be with humans. Life is just trust, is just nature. Uh, we can learn a lot from that. So if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling angry, frustrated, depressed, anxious, these are not easy human emotions but you will find that instead of avoiding these feelings really feeling them, not drowning in them but becoming a, a witness to what is going on within you allowing them into your heart and being gentle with your surrender of who you are you will find those things that you try to resist the most are actually there as gifts and once you finally allow yourself to be with them fully they will have no need to linger and hang around within you for any longer they may show up once in a while but they won't show up with the intensity that they have done in the past so try not to flee your feelings be with your feelings this is the biggest lesson I have had in my life and I have had a lot of different experiences on my spiritual journey and I've tried a lot of different things from law of attraction creating your reality to positive thinking affirmations shamanism psychic development you name it I've tried it all bought the t-shirt I've been doing it for about 15 years now and I've come full circle and that circle is me where I am right now 
in the moment with what is going on in my life, in my world, within me. No running away, just embracing what is happening. Knowing that any difficulty will pass when I allow it to pass through me. So I wish you well and I know how challenging the journey can be sometimes but if you allow yourself to be with who you are right now I promise you it will begin it will be the beginning of a new journey and you will discover that there are jewels and precious gems within that pain and within that suffering thanks for watching bye